Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is episode 501, and I'm sorry it's taken me a while to do this. I actually recorded a version of this the other day, and then I just found myself rambling way too much, and I said, yeah, I'll just cut it out, and I'll record a new one real quickly, because uh, Andy Circus posted this video a couple days ago, I think it was almost a week ago now, where he talked a little bit about Venom. He posted on his Instagram, and is in his, it was in his stories, so I have like a little bit of the footage here, uh, but uh, but he basically was announcing that he was going to be doing something for you know a charity event, and he was going to read uh, The Hobbit. It, I believe and uh, and just kind of go through and, and take like eight or ten hours or however long it was and just read through the book which was really awesome of him to take time out of his day and life and work schedule to do that because you know he says even in the video he's still working on stuff uh, you know I know he was talking about Batman stuff recently because he's playing Alfred Pennyworth obviously in the Batman movie that's coming out and uh, but he's not filming that right now that's on hiatus but he is editing Venom and that's kind of the main point of this video and the main topic is the fact that he's still remotely working on the Venom movie which most of us already kind of knew. We, we talked about that before on the channel that the movie was still being worked on. As far as I knew, it was still being worked on. Uh, but that's also back when we thought it was going to have an October release date or try to. Uh, but now that it has its new release date and, you know, next year in 2021, we were kind of like, all right, well, are they going to take a break from it? Or are they going to work on it and, and fine tune it? And it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. You know, they're like, hey, let's fine tune it. Let's make this movie really good. Let's put, you know, put the work in, even though I mean, obviously they have to, they're getting paid to do that, uh, you know, because uh, editing you can do remotely and you can work on movies remotely. But it was so cool to see that he was like, hey, I'm, I'm kind of hands on in this. He had the, the screen up on his, you know, like the image up on his screen with the logo. The logo looked a little different too. I noticed some of you guys make comments about that. And I don't know, I thought that was neat that he was like, yeah, I'm at home. I got stuff I'm doing and uh, but I'm still working on this baby and I can't wait to get it out to you guys next year. And that gives me, it makes me very excited. It gives me a lot of hope for this movie that he's putting such hard work into it and stuff. And I love that. That. And so, uh, so yeah, so he made a little Instagram video talking about the fact that he's still editing the movie and that he was going to do this Lord of the Rings thing and stuff. So, uh, so I just want to share that with you guys. I know the, they already recorded the Lord of the Rings stuff last night and he already did it and they raised over almost like $300,000, which is amazing. So awesome uh, that they did that. And it was really cool uh, to help out in that way. And Andy's just such an awesome dude. That's why I think a lot of us are so excited for the second movie. Even people who were kind of on the fence of the first movie, I think a lot of people know what you know, the kind of care and passion that Andy brings to projects he works on. And so uh, seeing that here in this video of him saying, yeah, I'm still editing Venom 2, uh, Let There Be Carnage, and, you know, and I'm, I'm having fun working on it. It's like, that's awesome. You know, that's great to hear. So, yes, the movie's moving forward. Of course it is, and it'll come out next year. Uh, but this was nice to get, just a little piece of movie news, because obviously movie news might be slow for a while. And they did announce uh, Comic-Con is going to be done remotely, like Comic-Con at home, I think is what they're calling it. And some people were theorizing, hey, maybe they'll still show trailers at that time. Maybe we'll still get like a new Morbius trailer, or maybe they'll talk a little bit about Venom. Obviously, they're not going to fly celebrities around, but maybe they'll pre-record videos with some of them and kind of do like, you know, panels online that you can just watch for free. Um, I think Comic-Con's working all that out right now. So if they make any announcements that are Venom related, I'll definitely talk about that too, because, hey, maybe we can get something Morbius or Venom related at uh, or both hopefully at San Diego Comic-Con which is now going to be in our homes which is awesome and I'll definitely do maybe like a live stream or something you know we'll figure something out uh, but I'm going to wait and see what Comic-Con announces first and if there's something that involves you know this universe this Venom universe that we all you know talk about on this show for 500 episodes now uh, if there's anything like that then we'll dive into that as well so let me know what you think Comic-Con at home I know there's not a lot of announcements yet but just what do you think of that concept and what do you hope they do and then also you know are you excited Andy's still working on the movie of course he is he's an awesome dude he's a hard worker so i can't wait to see what we get with uh, let there be carnage next summer so let me know all your comments down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share, subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace